Hey, hello my friends, welcome to Breath with Sergio. In this episode, let's talk about protecting your social media accounts from hackers. Well, hello my friends, super happy to be back with you. I have pizza in my plate for breakfast. Yes, I love pizza at any time. I love cold pizza, you know, cold pizza right out of the fridge. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know for a lot of people it's like, yeah, I don't like that. Well, for me, I love it. So that's what I have here. My friends, today let's talk about, let's talk about, you know, how to protect your social media account from hackers. Unfortunately, I keep seeing this over and over and over, particularly on Instagram, where artists are getting hacked and they're getting their accounts taken by somebody else. And then all of a sudden, you know, you don't have access to your own posts, to your own social media accounts that you've been working so hard, you know, over the years to grow, to connect with people. And now for somebody to come in, take over it and you have no control about that. That is super bad. That is really crazy. And it's happening all the time. I see it over and over and over and over. And it breaks my heart. You know, really every time I see this and I've seen this happening to friends of mine, close friends of mine, like, like geez, you know, this should not happen. Because I know how hard they're working to, you know, share their artwork in social media for this to happen. So in this episode, I want to really quickly give you some tips that you want to follow in order to prevent, you know, hackers uh, to taking over your social media accounts. Because it's becoming super easy for them to do it. First of all, the first thing you want to do is go to every social media account that you have, you know, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, uh, TikTok, you know, uh, it, 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 you know, it doesn't matter whichever social media account you have, Pinterest, you know, whatever you have, YouTube also, and make sure that you go to each one, go to the settings section, security, and make sure that you turn on double authentication. Super important that everyone you're watching this, maybe you have already done that on Instagram, you're like, okay, I'm done it, I did it on Instagram. Make sure you do it on every single platform. Turn on double authentication so that you know you are more protected you know somebody cannot just guess your password or use over just guess your password and just log in right away it will uh, advise you when somebody is trying to connect from another part of the world or somebody is trying to change your password you will receive a notification to make sure it's you or if it's somebody else so it's a great way to protect yourself Another thing you want to do, my friend, as well, is after you have turned on double authentication in all your social media platforms, is make sure, 100%, make sure that you are, when you look at uh, your messages, DMs, that you do not click on links that feel kind of strange or that feel kind of scammy or, or that you don't know who they came from. Be very careful with that. A lot of times, you know, those links can you know, put depends, you know, what device you may be using, your computer or your mobile device, you know, can also uh, put uh, some files that can really track your activity. So be very careful on what you click on. I have, you know, really been very good at not clicking on anything that I see that's coming or you sometimes in Facebook, particularly you get on DM like a message from even from a close friend of yours that says, hey, you know, uh, guess, guess who's in this video? So if you click on that, then that's going to trigger <laughs> that message to go to all your contacts. So be careful with that. You know, over the years, there's all types of different scams, all types of different uh, things that, you know, that can affect you in that way. So be careful with that. Uh, even for people that you know, make sure that you reply say, hey, did you send me this link? Is this something I need to look at? You know, uh, make sure that it, it is a legit thing. Now, the, another thing you may want to also be very careful of, particularly on Instagram, the way these hackers are getting to these accounts, a lot of times is they send you because they, they take, let's say they, they, they get into an account and they, they try to contact everyone who this person may have had contact with in the messenger and they send you a message, uh, something like, for example, hey, you know, Mary, uh, I'm, you know, uh, submitted my artwork to this kind of a thing and, uh, you know, I need if you can, you know, vote for me, here's the link. Uh, and then you're gonna get also a, a password. So, you know, just send me a screenshot of that. You know, things like that, that sounds kind of weird, like send me a screenshot of, of, of a message or something like that. Do not, never, never do that, even if it's a person that you know, because that probably, it, it, it means that at that a particular account was hacked. And now that's how they're trying to hack others as well. 
The first time I, I saw this, it was really strange. I'm like, well, I don't know, you know, why this person is asking me to take a screenshot of my, you know, of my phone, uh, of this, not, you know, this, this reset password or something. So immediately I'm like, no, this is a red flag. This is a red flag. This person who, even though it's a good friend, is this account was hacked. And that's how you know this thing. So be very careful as you approach, you engage with people, even your close friends, because you never know who may have been hacked as well. And this, my friend, is to protect your assets, you know, your social media presence that you as an artist have been really working hard to build over the years, your artist brand for somebody to come and steal it and then use it for whatever they want. And yes, most of the time you can get it back, but it's really hard, really difficult. It's not, you know, there's not a hotline that you can call on Instagram or Facebook and they will help you out right away. You know, it's a whole process, takes forever. And in the meantime, you know, you don't have access to it and they are posting whatever they want. So in this episode, my friend, just keep that in mind. I hope uh, you are not a victim of that. And if you have been in the past, you know, it's, it's good time to say, okay, this happened to me on Instagram. I'm gonna go to every social media platform and make sure I do uh, double authentication and never, never click on links. <laughs> you don't know what they are 100% um, before verifying it. So my friend, thank you so much for watching. Brief, I will say here today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope this doesn't happen to you. And please share this episode with all your friends because you may never know who may be uh, today vulnerable from a hacker who's just waiting, just waiting, you know, to take action on that person. So do, do a favor, my friend, and share this episode to all your friends, put it in your social media as well, you know, to help others who may be in danger. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you very soon. And if you want to check out all the resources I have for artists, if you want to take your art career to the next level, just go to www.theartistnextlevel.com. I'll be happy to help you and connect with you right there. Have a great day. Goodbye. Now it's back to my cold pizza. Ciao.